Mr. Whitfield? Yes. I'm not volunteering for Greg Abbott, and we want to know if we count on your support for his upcoming election. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Everybody got to have a job, sir. Remember. <laughs> Thank you. We're Thank you. Or not <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good one. That was ring doorbell footage of Monique Dawson, a paid canvasser for Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who, as you saw, admitted that she does not support the governor and she's just doing this because, well, it's a job. Now, she presumably recognized the individual who answered the door, hence the historical laughter when she asked him, can we count on your support? And he said, absolutely not because I think they probably knew each other's political affiliation. Uh, so that's why it was it was so funny, because, you know, he knew she didn't support him. She knew he wouldn't support Greg Abbott, but she's just reaching out to a constituent. Absolutely hilarious. That video put a giant smile on my face. I'm not sure about you, but I've got to say, kind of a dick move to upload the ring doorbell footage to TikTok, because this video subsequently went viral and expectedly it led to her losing her job take a look hey my name is monique i'm in fort worth texas here goes the car from the video as you know i was out um doing my campaigning yesterday for greg abbott and i mean like when the doctor i saw his face um <laughs> i just laughed i laughed so hard and then when they shared the video my campaign manager he you know pulled me to the side he was like you know we we have to let you go so they definitely fired me this morning so there you have it she got fired once that went viral. Now, I'm glad that I saw the footage, but for future references, if you're an individual who lives in Texas and a canvasser approaches you and they don't actually support Greg Abbott, please do not upload the footage of your conversation to TikTok because you're kind of ousting them. You're snitching. In fact, I'd argue that this is the social media equivalent of snitching. And if you also don't support Greg Abbott, why would you kind of out her. Um, now, as disappointing as it is that she lost her job, I mean, this is what we all expected. There is a happy ending to this story. And overall, it seems like Monique is going to be way better off because she launched a GoFundMe and she asked for a couple of dollars from anyone who can afford to chip in, you know, a buck or two, uh, just so she can pay the bills until she finds a new job. And within a couple of days, she raised nearly 30 thousand dollars so i love monique i will include the link to her gofundme in the description box if you want to support her she just seems like a genuinely pleasant person who's trying to get ahead and this set her back she probably didn't anticipate that video going viral she probably didn't even know that she was being recorded so look if you support her chip in a buck or two but there's a bizarre element to this story and i'm not necessarily sure why but greg abbott's office is denying that she was employed with them but that's untrue she did work for them as local reporter priscilla aguirre of my san antonio explains abbott's office has denied that dawson ever worked for them telling the daily dot this individual has never been employed by texans for greg abbott or volunteered for the campaign however the daily dot reported dawson provided bank records and screenshots of text messages and group chats with colleagues and people she says supervised her employment as a canvasser the texts time stamped from the last several months discussed time times, dates, and locations to canvas for the campaign. So maybe they're in denial and don't want to think that people who work for them don't actually support the campaign and maybe trying to sabotage them internally. But I think that maybe this is kind of a last fuck you to her and trying to get people to think that she's grifting and didn't really work for him and this whole thing was staged. I'm not really sure, but it's just kind of strange to lie about this, but leave it to Republicans to lie because this is what they do. But this whole story is funny because it reminds me of the 2020 presidential election when there were individuals who worked for Mike Bloomberg who didn't actually support him. Now, I talked about this on my program, but for those of you who forgot, back in February of 2020, Kayla Williams tweeted, I just had a Mike Bloomberg canvasser come to my door. I let him know politely, I'm decidedly voting for Bernie Sanders. And then he just gave me a fist bump and said, oh, me too, feel the burn, homie. Now, this wasn't just an isolated incident because Luke Darby of GQ actually reported about how many paid volunteers for Mike Bloomberg were telling voters to support other candidates, namely Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. So that's just incredible. Um, I love it. I, I love to hear stories about this when pieces of shit, 
you know, have people rebel against them. I mean, I feel like it's only natural when you have a politician like Greg Abbott in Texas. He has so much blood on his hands. This is just karma, right? So I'll remind everyone again, if another Greg Abbott canvasser comes to your door and they don't actually support him, don't out them by uploading the footage to TikTok. The social media clout isn't worth their job. Sure, it ended well for Monique here and she got a really nice GoFundMe, but odds are maybe the video doesn't go viral and they still get fired. Maybe, you know, it doesn't end as well for them. They don't land on their feet. Monique's going to be okay, it seems. But don't snitch. Nobody likes snitches. Just shut up and enjoy the moment. Even though I'm thankful that this moment was shared with us overall, don't be a snitch. Do you enjoy watching independent news shows like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, and The Majority Report, but oftentimes YouTube doesn't deliver our videos to your subscription box? Well, I've got a solution for you. It's called the Opt Out app, available right now in the iOS App Store, coming soon to Android. Opt Out is an app made by and for progressives where they take all of the most popular independent news shows and they put them in one convenient location. You'll find all your favorites on there, like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, The Majority Report, and the app is updated multiple times per day, so your news feed is constantly up to date. If you enjoy watching independent media, this is the app to get. Download it today.